competing at the Olympics has been a lifelong childhood dream come true. It's, it's one of those things to get to go out onto the competition mat wearing a uniform that says, you know, Team USA Rio 2016 on it is something I'll never forget. It's so surreal that it'll take me a month or two to actually fully comprehend it and appreciate it. The way that match ended, particularly with the last kick, it was a one in a million chance. One more point against if he gets his young goal. Oh, he goes up high and he's got him. A magnificent move with seconds remaining. The spinning kick to the head made contact. What's interesting about it is, like talking with my coach afterwards, I made the right decision. He literally threw up the Hail Mary and what I've been telling the media that's interviewed me is it's the equivalent of Eli Manning throwing that touchdown pass in the Super Bowl where the receiver caught it on his head. If you had to replicate it a hundred times, you couldn't do it. It's all one big blur. I knew I had done everything I could, and I thought there were some calls that could have gone different ways that would have changed the complexion of the match, but that's the nature of sport. You can't always control things. Uh, his strength is definitely his openness and willingness to try new things and not be closed-minded. Uh, it's really inspiring. I mean, honestly, how can you not approach the Olympics without thinking you're going to win, right? So, what we've been seeing these past couple of days are just upset after upset. I, I might go back to law school. Uh, there's actually some interest from a couple other sports trying to get me involved and so I might try a winter sport and try and go to the Winter Olympics next. But I mean at the end of the day, Taekwondo is my first passion. I could easily see going to Tokyo.